Hey guys, welcome to the 130th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our paint project. So, the first thing that we're going to do is allow the user to change the color of their pen. So, let's just go over to our tool strip here and add a button to it. And then let's change the text of that button to pen color and make it so that the text shows instead of the image. And then when the user clicks on this button, we're just going to have a color dialog appear so the user can choose the color for the pen. So we're just going to create a new color dialog here. I'll call it CD and set it equal to a new color dialog. And then we're going to check to see if the user actually selects a color in the color dialog. So we're just going to say if CD.showDialog equals dialog result.ok. Then we're going to um, set this button's text color equal to um, whatever color that the user selects in the color dialog so that they can have an idea of the color that they're picking. So we're going to say um, tool strip button one dot text or no dot for color equals cd dot color. And then when the user goes to draw we're going to say the color equals tool strip button one dot four color. So now when the user um, selects a color in the color dialog, it's going to set this button's um, text color equal to whatever um, color that the user selects in the color dialog. And then when we go to draw, the color that they're going to use is the color of the button's text. So now I'm going to debug here and select the pen size. I'll, put, I'll, I'll click X for something rather big. And then we can change the pen color to something else like orange and click OK. We can see that, that the text of that button changed. Now when we draw, we draw an orange. And it's all smooth because in the last tutorial I showed you how to do that. Alright, now the next thing that we need to do is a way to clear uh, all of the things that we've drawn. So right now if we wanted to start over, we'd have to close the application and run it again. Well, there's a way easier way of clearing the form. So we're just going to add another button to our tool strip called um, Clear Canvas. Oops, Clear Canvas. All right, and then we're just going to make it so again that only the text is displayed. And in order to clear it, we're just going to use our graphics up here. So we can just say G dot Clear, and it calls for a color that we're going to clear. And if we put in white right there, then the background color of this would be white. Well, we don't want that. So we're going to say um, panel1.backcolor. So whatever color or background color this is set to, it'll just clear it to that color. So this way we can um, have the user change the color later on. So right now, pick two, choose a pen color. I'll choose mm, orange, I guess. Let me draw. Well, if we want to clear it, we just click clear canvas, and it just clears everything we've drawn. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is allow the user to choose a color for the canvas. So let's just go right here and add another button, and this will be called Canvas Color. And just like before, we're going to change it so that only the uh, text is displayed on the button. And we're just going to go ahead and copy this color dialog from up here so that now it's going to have a color dialog you display when you click this button and we're just going to have to change this to button 3 because this is the third button as you can see and if we go over to the properties panel it says even right up there tool strip button 3 so we want to change the for color of this text to this and then we're also going to change the panel's background color to whatever color that the user selects in this color dialog so we're going to say panel one dot back color equals um, cd dot color. All right, so now we debug here. We can choose a canvas color. So if we want to make it white, now the background color for our uh, panel is white. Choose a pen size. Choose a pen color. I'll see if it's black right now. We can draw. And now when we click clear canvas, we can see that it will clear it to white because. When we click clear canvas, it will just clear it to the current background color um, of the canvas. Now we draw in black, click clear canvas, and yep, it cleared it. 
but you can see this canvas color. You can't really see that because we changed it to white, but that just changed the uh, text color of it. So if we choose like green or something, uh, make the pen color like brown, clear it, oops, clear it, and it just cleared the canvas. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.